Thank you for being here and for watching. It's a Gimme Five. I'm Mike Adam. My name is Jim Shear. And this week, the topic is best music festivals of the summer. And I feel like there's a lot to choose from. I was like, oh my God, there's so It was almost overwhelming. So I'm curious. It's to hear the era most. we live in. I know. No, I kept mine to the United States. Did you do the same? <laughs> I was I was teetering. I was like, what? All right, let me keep it to the US. So you US. kept it to the yeah, US? I did. Okay. Yeah, I mean, when I was younger, Lollapalooza sprouted up. Yeah. And then they started having traveling festivals, but now it's one stop shop. Right. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, although now festivals are now doing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, right. Sunday. I think the only moving one you still have is Warp Tour, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the one that's the only one I know of. Yeah. And who knows, maybe they'll make it Wednesday, Thursday. Maybe it'll be a whole week. So number five, Bumber Shoot in Seattle, Washington. I love Seattle. It's a great music city. And this one has been doing it longer than anyone else. It started in 1971. Oh my God. And it happens in Seattle. So if you want a taste of the coolness of Seattle, cool. go to Bumbershoot. Number four, the Vans Warp Tour. Yeah. Like we said, it's the only traveling festival that I think is still in circulation. Yeah. It's been happening since 1995. I've attended many Warp Tours, and yes, it's in parking lots it's not in lush parks but there, there's something endearing about the vans warp tour number three firefly in dover delaware it's kind of off the beaten path yeah it's in a nice little forest and you you feel like you're in a a storybook world <laughs> and then you get to see cool bands like the killers or the black key so i i love firefly yeah. number two on my list Austin City Limits in Austin, Texas, and it's so popular that it happens on back-to-back -back weekends, and I think the only other festival that does that is Coachella. Yep. And it happens in October, so it's usually not as hot as it is in that Texas summer, right. but Austin, Austin, Texas is one of the coolest cities in America. They love their music. It's on a nice patch of land, and I'm a fan of Austin City Limits. Uh, my favorite festival, Lollapalooza in Chicago, Illinois. It's, I, I consider it one of our originals. Totally. Even though it, it went away for a little bit, it used to be a traveling festival, it copied from the festivals over in England. Yeah. But why I love Lollapalooza, and this maybe is me showing my signs of being an old man, that when the festival ends each night, you don't have to trek through muddy fields or the woods and get shuttle buses. You can walk out of Grand Park and you can go to your hotel. Ugh. You can take a shower and then you can enjoy the amenities right. of Chicago, Illinois. That's awesome. So by the time the festival's done, 10 minutes later, you're showered up and you can hit Chicago. Yep. Good. Good, man. Good list. I, I stuck with the ones I've either attended or just thought had a great um, list of performers. I mean, there's so many. Uh, at the number five spot, I went with Governor's Ball. Governor's Ball, yeah. In NYC. Um, I've been lucky enough to attend, and I just think it's cool that, you know, it's in the city, and they always have great lineups. Mm -hmm. um, at the number four spot, Bonnaroo in Manchester. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it's it's it does that thing where it's like, I, I think they're Thursday through they Sunday might be, yeah. or whatever, but... Um, They've, they've just garnered so much attention in the past few years, and I think the, the set lists and the people that attend keep getting better and better. That's true, and there's lots of jam outs, there's music all night long. Totally. But you don't get to walk to your hotel after that one. <laughs> that, is yeah. very, that is very true. <laughs> uh, at the number three spot, Made in America had a chance to attend that as yeah. well. It's in Philly, so I'm a little biased, I guess. It's on the steps, right? Yes. And I also love that, well, it's it's like right in front of the steps. Okay. And then I also love that um, they tried to do it in LA and it just didn't work out and they're not doing that anymore because we should keep That's it right. in Philly That's and right. only for Philly. Mm -hmm. But it's just such a great backdrop and a good setting. Um, at the number three spot, oh no, excuse me, at the number two spot, Coachella, uh, mm -hmm. out in Cali, obviously. And they did the, this year was the first year they did the two weekend thing, right? I think they did it last oh, year. Oh, they did well. it last yeah. year too? Um, I, I just appreciate it because it's so massive and garners so much attention and uh, I think it has like in the media straight a little bit away from who's actually playing into who's attending but I do think it's cool like that it I feel like it reaches people that aren't even normally festival goers. It no. makes moments that's what's great yeah. about it because it's at the beginning of the festival season. Totally. And at the number one spot 
Lollapalooza. Yeah! Um, I mean, I just, I look at it, I, it's not the originator, but that's how I view it. You know, I'm like, it's, it's one of these legendary things and I feel like it kind of set the pace for and 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 raises raises the bar for the other because they pull in the big names totally harry farrell organizes it so i think artists respect that another artist is running the game absolutely yeah and i feel i feel like as an artist too when you say you're playing Lollapalooza in comparison to like warp tour and no offense to warp tour but yeah when you're playing Lollapalooza, mm -hmm. that's like just Cute. the name carries yeah. cachet because what it did back in the early 90s. Totally. Yeah. So uh, let us know your thoughts below. Remember, if you are attending a summer festival this season, wear lots of sunscreen. Stay hydrated. It's hot yeah. out there, yeah. And you hit the ears. A lot of times I forget to hit the ears and the, the back of the neck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for Mike Adam, my name is Jim Shear, and we will see Yins later.